Hello everyone, my name is Ataula Buriro and uh, today I'm talking about uh, the uh, new ways of authentication. I expect you all know about authentication. Bravo, very good. So, yeah, okay, who is she? Who is she? You don't know? Bravo. Georgia Meloni, how, how would you know? Actually, this is the question related to identity. Okay? We are identified by our faces. We are identified by our walking style. We are identified by the, the document we carry, for example, this badge. Okay? We are identify, identified by our cards that we have, the tokens we call them. So there are plenty of mechanisms available in the market to identify. But how would you relate this identification to authentication? What is authentication then? Authentication is something, for example, that proves the identity of the claimant who is claiming. Let's say I'm claiming I'm a Taula Buriro. How will you verify my identity? Of course, you will ask me to provide you some document. And from the document, Showing the image, for example, you will see my image, like the, like the passport we give at, the, at, at airports, for example, we are identified. So, so this one is Georgia Meloni, Mark Zuckerberg, of course. Everyone knows about him, no need to tell. And this is the mechanism. So these are all mechanisms that are used to identify people. Also, this one is interesting. You know, I have seen in movies, when these agents need to identify each other, they share the secret code, which is very, very important. So it's now well defined that these are the mechanisms we use to identify people. Also, we identify or authenticate people based on the voice as well, which is not here. So sorry. Now, here, smartphones, smart devices. Who doesn't own smartphone? Everyone, smartwatch, tablets, these are all smart devices. Now, these smart devices also identify or authenticate us based on the way we authenticate people, right? So, like for example, your phone could ask you about, uh, about your secret pin. Don't say your secret pin is one, two, three, four. So it, it can ask you, and then it could ask you about your face. You are supposed to provide the face image in order to get authenticated. And you have fingerprint recognition system as well to identify, to authenticate you on your own devices. The question is, why even this authentication is important? Why is it important? So we are trying to find, for example, let's try to get agree on something. Do you, any of you use social networking, social sites from phone? Everyone. Okay, and do you do online transactions? Quite folks. Okay, so there are so many applications available for these smart devices that generate and store a lot of personal data. This personal data needs to be secured. If it's not secured, it will result in, it will result in Identity theft, I will talk about later. So existing authentication mechanisms are knowledge-based. Okay, knowledge-based means you are required to memorize some secret. Could be one, two, three, four. Could be a pattern you, you see here, for example. It could be anything, but you have to memorize this. Okay, so there, here is a trade-off. Complex password, difficult to remember. Easier password, easy to attack. What, what are we supposed to do then? So, question is, are they secure? The, the, the knowledge-based mechanisms that we are using, are they secure? <laughs> no. Why? Because, you see, we are using our devices in public places with a lot of eyes at our phones, for example, at our devices. So, this could be a problem. And for those who use pins and passwords, don't say you have a pin of one, two, three, four on your phone. And if it is, you are not alone because this database out of two million users' passwords 
one, two, three, four was the most frequent one. Ten percent of the users had one, two, three, four as password. And this is, by the way, in 2022, also this holds true. Now, and this pattern, for example, you see here, people tend to use simple patterns, non, you know, crossing each other, intersecting each other, which is also very easy to remember, but easy to attack as well. And also like with these sketches, for example, you leave some smudges, some traces on your phone, which an attacker can exploit. Then we have, a, we have other solutions. Why should we use these uh, classical solutions? We have face recognition system, Android Smart Lock. Okay, it identifies, uh, uh, it authenticates person based on the facial attributes that you have. Then, but who is this guy, by the way? Is it Obama or Osama? Come on, I have only 15 minutes. Very difficult because face recognition is vulnerable to attacks. Fine. And also like here you see, also face recognition is being attacked. And it's very easy because it's very easy for me to find a the, 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 the face of a targeted person. Very easy. Because we leave our data some everywhere, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, everywhere. So question is, are they secure? Fingerprint, face recognition, this is called biometric category. Are they secure? Somehow, yes, yes, but this Touch ID, I'm giving you a reference, there is a lab called Chaos Lab in Germany. They have successfully attacked, they were able to successfully attack iPhone 5S and 6S touch sensors on the second day of its release. So, fingerprint recognition is vulnerable. Also, with this, you know, all these uh, problems, for example, the main consequence of all this, if you leave, if you have simple mechanism on your phone or device, and you are using online transactions and everything, the consequence is very, very hard. If it is stolen by a person or if it's, you lost your phone somewhere. So identity theft is actually the, among the top five complaints in the world. So identity theft is not, you can just say, for example, I am a young guy, I don't have anything on my phone that needs to be secured. And this uh, identity theft is common across all age groups, especially the teenage, for example, 54% of teenage users up to the age of 40, they are more vulnerable because they are sloppy. Then they leave very you know, emotional and financial consequences. Very, very difficult to get away with this. Are they usable? Besides security, I'm asking, are they usable? So how do users feel when they use their devices? An average person, for example, an average IT person opens or wants to access his device every 6.5 seconds. We access this device 150 times a day, 24 hours. So every 6.5 seconds and you give like at least three, four seconds you take to take a very nice selfie to get authenticated in public places. I'm in a meeting, okay, take, let me take the selfie. No, it doesn't work like way. So there is a very famous pointer which says, it feels like I'm taking selfies all day, <laughs> okay? And also like uh, imagine taking selfie on day on Fujisto device, for example, takes 15 to 20 seconds, imagine on smart watch, for example, which is already available in the market, how difficult it would be to, to you know, unlock it from the watch, from the wrist. So, is there any alternate? Don't you think we need something that is accurate, that is secure, that is usable, that is better than these, all these algorithms? I'm not claiming that they will be, I don't want to be assertive, they, they will not be more secure, for example, but still I'm, saying, for example, there is a room for, for, for a, another, you know, modality, another alternate to come up. So there exists a, a new approach called behavioral biometrics. The way you walk is a behavioral biometric. The way you speak is behavioral biometric. You can identify me based on my voice. 
okay you can like there are could be like the way i write something you can identify me based on the writing style okay all these are biometric modalities no they are advantages everyone has unique you know unique movements on the phone for example you can say for example this watch if you see this solution i call it snap out and here for example you do just the snapping and with the snapping this watch actually authenticates you just the snapping two seconds of micro movements that no one is able to capture trust me and no one is able to mimic very very interesting and then you have for example clapping so uh, these two solutions could well be used for uh, in, in in real estate settings for example if you want to unlock a, 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 a secure infrastructure you do this smart watch will collect all your movements send the signal to the server the server will authenticate you you are not required to bring your card to get in okay keystroke dynamics it's not about what you write no it's about how you write so these are all behaviors signature from the signature i say this is the signature of barack obama so this is not new field actually there are plenty of solutions available but for smartphones and smart devices not many and do you think it will uh, they will require additional hardware no the built in hardware that are already there they are sufficient enough accelerometer gyroscope magnetometer they are sufficient enough to model those movements okay now i want to show you uh, i want to point you to a paper that i wrote like 5 years ago how you hold your phone and how you write something on your phone these are two modalities biometric modality one you hold your phone and you write your and, and writing means here for example this writing captures the touch the, the the value of pixel on that screen you know it's very very difficult for you to write exactly the way i wrote and this paper is already published you could have a, a look at it if you want then there is a dialer auth so dialing who who doesn't know dialing you need to enter number and dial you know so this is the way for example it's also a bimodal system so you the way you dial you ho while holding your phone these are two different attributes you can actually identify person also very important the way you bring your phone to to your ear is 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 also novel and uh, here snapping auth i already showed you very simple snapping two seconds of data with just two seconds of micro movements of your arm you will be able to identify you to get authenticated and uh, then here clapping out secure infrastructure i want to come to noi for example and i want to access a secure infrastructure i am not required to bring my card to show them that i am i belong to this place no thank you very much for your attention before going i still have 20 seconds left before leaving i have one of the solution here as a demo if any one of you is interested he can test thank you thank you so much thank Great. you so much